Let's take a look at this problem modified from Putnam 1953. To evaluate the square root of 7 minus the square root of 7 plus square root of 7 minus the square root of 7 plus and we do this until infinity. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications. As we're doing this up to infinity, as in adding square roots and subtracting square roots and so on. So actually, even if we are only taking these parts, you can imagine that at the um, triple dots at the end, we actually have plus the square root of 7 minus the square root of 7 plus the square root of and so on. So the part labeled in yellow is actually equal to the whole square root. So if I let u to be the whole expression, then I can establish an equation, which is the square root of 7 minus the square root of 7 plus u is actually just equal to u. So you can imagine that because we to, to solve this equation, we are going to square both sides, maybe do that twice. So we are going to have a quartic equation. We're going to have a polynomial of degree 4 that's equal to 0. So let's see what's that polynomial going to be like. So we square both sides and we have 7 minus the square root of 7 plus u and that's equal to u squared. And so to, by rearranging, we have 7 minus u squared equal to square root of 7 plus u. Next, I'm going to square both sides again, so then there will be no more radical signs. 7 minus u squared all squared is equal to 7 plus u. And simplifying, we have u to the power 4 minus 14 u squared plus 49 equals u plus 7. And finally, we have u to the power 4 minus 14 u squared minus u plus 42 equals 0. So this is the quartic polynomial that we're we are expecting. Now, to solve this quartic polynomial, we might have to try some uh, constants and see whether um, if we put you replace u by that particular constant and whether we will have uh, left hand side to be equal to zero. If so, then by factor theorem, factor theorem, we'll be able to solve, uh, we'll be able to factorize uh, the quartic polynomial. So in fact, notice that 2 to the power 4 minus 14 times 2 squared minus 2 plus 42 is actually 16 minus 56 minus 2 plus 42 and that's 0 and furthermore if we test minus 3 to the power 4 minus 14 times minus 3 all squared minus minus 3 plus 42 and that's 81 minus 14 times 9 plus 3 plus 42 and that's 0 so that means we'll have two linear factors which is u minus 2 times u plus 3, okay, and, and then we'll have a quadratic at the end. Now it remains to see whether, uh, what quadratic we're going to get. Now for this part, maybe I'm going to sp split this into two steps, which is that I'm going to first divide the quartic by u minus 2, and actually we'll have u cubed, and then plus 2u squared, because we need to uh, make sure that the coefficient of u cubed is 0. And then minus 12u, I'm sorry, it should be minus 10, 10u, so that we have minus 14u squared, and then finally minus 21 for the cubic. And then furthermore, We divide the cubic by u plus 3, and we'll have u squared 
minus u, and then finally minus 7 equals 0. So then we've managed to divide the quartic by two linear terms, expressions. And so now we can see what u is actually equal to. So u is equal to u2 minus 3. And then for the last bit, we need the quadratic formula. And that's 1 plus or minus square root of 29 over 2. So we have four possible solutions number values for um, the third and we let's see whether um, which value it should actually take so let me first list them out these are the four numbers firstly we need u to be larger than 0, or at least non-negative, because we, as what we've defined, u is the square root or the, under the radical sign of some positive numbers. So um, by definition of the radical sign, simply this sign, we cannot have u to be a negative number. So that means I have to reject minus 3, minus 3, and 1 minus root 29 over 2. That means we've eliminated two possibilities. And so we have u equals either 2 or 1 plus root 29 over 2. And furthermore, we asked when we square both sides of these equations, we might have created some extra uh, possible cases, which is that, for example, when we uh, do our first squaring so that we can reach this step. Some solutions might make 7 minus u squared a negative number. And then somehow that number squared, this number squared, will have the minus sign cancel out and eventually we get 7 plus u. So let's see whether one of the values 2 or 1 plus root 29, of, root 29 over 2 will fall into this trap. So let's check one by one. When u equals 2, so say 7 minus u squared equals 3, root of 7 plus u equals root 9 equals 3, and that's fine. However, when u equals 1 plus root 29 over 2, 7 minus u squared equals 7 minus the fraction 30 plus 2 times root 29 over 4. But somehow, that's negative. Well, in fact, Or let's see minus of this. Well, in fact, this this number squared as what we've calculated before is exactly equal to. 7 plus the original number. And so it's actually 7 plus u in this case. So indeed, this 1 plus root 29 over 2 is a solution to the so-called equation 7 minus u squared equals square root of 7 plus u. But it has this number to be a negative number. So I'll have to reject this case as well. So that means our final answer has to be 2. And so that means this radical expression actually takes value to be 2. So now that solves our problem.